Good morning. This is Daily News at 5. I'm Jackie Ruggiero. And I'm Luke Kowalsha. On today's segment, we will discuss the differences within the architecture profession in countries such as Spain, Australia, and the good old USA. Architecture is the art or practice of designing and constructing buildings. In the U.S., architecture students must earn a minimum of a bachelor's degree in architecture, although a master's is preferred. Once a student graduates, they must obtain 3,740 hours through the Intern Development Program. After working in the field and becoming an established architect, you can earn an average of $73,000 a year. A typical working environment for an established architect consists of small private or large corporate firms. Most architects exhibit a type A personality, meaning they are uh, hardworking, time crunching, and deadline pushing. Many needs are satisfied through this profession due to its higher pay. In Spain, architecture is a highly appreciated and respected profession. Many architects base their designs around religious values or political aspects. For instance, the construction of castles and palaces set Spanish architecture apart from the American industry. In Spain, an average architect can earn approximately 16 euros an hour, calculating to about 20 US dollars, significantly lower than the US wage. In Spain, many outside architects cannot break the language barrier, resulting in a limited in industry. Sustainability, the act of going green, is currently being expanded throughout most countries. However, Spain is behind on the curve compared to the US. Architecture in Australia is a highly respected industry that will earn you $70,000 to $110,000 annually. The Australian design style focuses on minimalism and the humanistic approach which creates an exotic and exciting architecture because it is a direct derivative of their culture and values. With this said, their most iconic and equally exotic structures are the Sydney Opera House, the Sydney Harbour Bridge, and the Royal Expo. Their sustainability standards have only recently been established which puts them behind the U.S. in the going green sector of design, although the climate change is their main driving force. As you have just heard, architecture is a profession that varies from country to country, yet can be so universal. This is Daily News at 5. I'm Jackie Ruggiero. And I'm Luke Walsh. Stay classy, man.